Okay, when you're telling a story, you got to be able to just tell a little part of it. Okay, by doing that, what that does is it allows you to convey your world, your story to a larger audience. And the way this works is that by telling just a piece of the story, you infer that this is a world full of these types of stories by giving them an example story. And a lot of books do this. A lot of authors do this a lot to great effect, right? Like Harry Potter, right? You're only in one specific place with Harry, right? Either at Hogwarts or Diagon Alley or whatever, right? But you think, oh, well, that is actually a street or that is actually a school. Oh, there must be other schools like that. Oh, there must be other streets like that. And so you you feel this sense of, oh, this world is just so big and so vast when all they did was talk about one little part of it. Okay. And like I said, authors use this movie directors use this to great effect, right? You are, it's almost involving you in the story because it allows you to imagine the rest of everything that's going on in the background rather than the stuff you're just actually reading or seeing at that point in time. And so how we use this as creators is, we only tell one story. We only tell a part of one story. And by doing that, we like, oh, we're going to connect with our audience because they think that we'd actually are telling the story of this whole world um, rather than just a little piece of it. And I think that's what, what makes people connect to the people they watch videos about or repost about is that they think, oh, I'm they went through this ex same experience, right? They went to the beach. They went to a restaurant. Like I've done that before too. So I can relate, right? It's called inference. And it's the reasoning why, you know, Lord of the Rings, right? You watch Lord of the Rings, you know, they went into one dungeon into the mountain, right? And it was full of goblins. They had a big fight and stuff like that. It's like, technically there probably are, could be in my mind, right? Or in your mind, you could think, oh, well, there could be like thousands of, of minds like this. Right. But you're only focused on the one. They're only telling you the story of the one. Right. And so the way we can use this as creators is that we only have to tell a little part of our story as it creates curiosity and creates intrigue. You understand it creates connection because you think that, oh, this guy is related to me because I have I've had the same experience, which he's describing. Right. Or maybe I want to have the same experience that he's currently experiencing or telling people about. So if you want to connect with people, you need to tell stories, but you need to leave a little bit to the imagination for other people to truly connect with you. And 